All right, in this video, we're going to talk about independent events real quick, just getting the idea of what independent events are um, before we dive into like a lot of mathematics with probability and stuff. So uh, what are independent events? You got two events. We'll call them X and Y. And if X occurs and it has no effect on the chance of Y occurring, then we can say that X and Y are independent events. Now, if X does occur and it does have an effect on Y occurring, then we call these events dependent. So basically it's the opposite of independent. Now, read over that definition. I'm gonna kind of reiterate it in these examples and let's determine whether these events below are independent or dependent. So uh, we got event X. You roll a dice and you get a four, okay? And then you flip a coin and you get a head. Well, let's talk about event Y. So we're talking about Y. Does this right here, does the probability or the chance of this occurring, is it affected in any way by what happens here? Well, let's talk about it. Suppose you flip a coin. Let's just think off the top of your head. If you flip a coin, the probability of getting a head is a half, right? Because it's, you know, a head or a tail. So one out of two outcomes. Now, I don't care, and think about this, if you roll a four, you can roll a one, you can roll a three on a dice, whatever you wanna do, that's not going to have any effect on you flipping ahead. That probability is not going to change. So hence, this right here, this is an example of where we do have independent events. And think about this again, because the outcome of this, or well, okay, let me come back to here, the outcome of this is not going to change the probability of this occurring. Um, because really dice and coins, they're not connected, if that makes sense. Now let's be a little bit more careful with these next two examples. So uh, event X, you drew a queen from a deck of cards and you replaced it. And then you drew another card from the same deck and got another queen. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's just talk about uh, this event right here. You draw a card from a deck and you get a queen. Let's just talk about that probability. The probability of you drawing a queen from a deck of cards is four out of 52 because there's four queens out of 52 cards. Sorry if you can hear the helicopter in the background, but four over 52 simplifies to 1 13th. Now, does this probability change given that event X has occurred? Let's talk about this. So you draw a queen from a deck of cards and you replace it. So by when we say replacing, when you put that card back in the deck, that means that queen is going back into the deck. That means you still have 52 cards in the deck. So with that happening, and then you draw another card from the same deck and got another queen, well, we still have four queens in that deck because we replaced this one up here and we still got 52 cards in the deck. So this right here, the outcome of this is not affected by this because we replaced that card. That's key right there. Understanding, um, you'll see this a lot in your probability and statistics courses where you replace something. Um, essentially what we're creating here are independent events. These are independent events because this probability, the probability of you getting a queen down here um, is four out of 52 since we still have those 52 cards in the deck and there's still four queens in the deck. Now let's look at number three, this last one here. So you drew an ace from a deck of cards and you didn't replace it. Ooh, you did not replace it. Okay, so let's just kind of ignore all this junk right here and let's just talk about, you know, what's the probability of getting a king? Let's think about this. The probability of getting a king from a deck of cards is four out of 52 because there's four kings out of 52 cards in the deck and that reduces to 1 13th. So will this probability change if this occurs, you drew an ace from a deck of cards and you did not replace it. So we drew an ace, we didn't draw a king, so the four is going to stay the same down here. But since we did not replace that ace, that takes our 52 cards down to 51. So notice what I had a moment ago when I had four out of 52, that was when we had a full deck of cards. But this is not going to be the case for event Y now because we did not replace that ace. And then we draw another card. We still have four kings, but we now only have 51 cards. So hopefully you can see here the chance of you getting a king did change. Actually, the chance of you getting a king got slightly better in terms of probability. But we'll save all that stuff for a little bit later. So these events are dependent. 
And again, that's because we did change our probability of getting a king. Think about it originally. If you just had a standard deck of cards, and I said, what's the probability of you getting a king? It would be 4 out of 52. But notice, if we did not replace that card from event X, then we don't have 52 cards anymore. We got 51. So I hope that makes sense there. You know, that's three quick examples of trying to get that idea of independent events across to you. Uh, what's going to come up next with this is the multiplication rule um, that deals with independent events. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.